All right, in film, there are primarily three types of sound, human voices, music, and sound effects. All of these sounds, when combined, make for a pretty engaging experience. They can really make your films come alive. Up to this point, many of the films you have created might have only really utilized music, kind of like this. But what if you were to add some other sound effects to it? See how much more real it feels? When recording sound effects, one concept you want to understand is what is called perspective. Perspective simply refers to the distance at which something is recorded. For example, if we want something to sound far away, we will typically just lower the volume. However, that doesn't really work. Though it's quieter, it still sounds like it's close to us. If we want something to sound like it's far away, record it from far away. Change your perspective to get the sound to sound like the sound you want. This is true for both voices and sound effects. Now, there are a few different types of sound effects you can utilize in your productions. These are transient sounds, evolving sounds, and speech sounds. Transient sounds are sounds that come and go quickly. Think like a punch, something breaking, the honking of a horn, sirens, yelling, gunshots, and other sounds that come and go quickly. Evolving sounds are sounds that feel like they're always there. If they go away, it's super slow. Evolving sounds can be the hum of electricity, wind blowing through trees, fans, ocean waves crashing on the shore, the slight trickle of rain on pavement, and so on. Speech sounds don't refer to dialogue. This is simply background talking that you can't really understand. Like if you're at a restaurant or an event and there are people talking in the background, that speech sound. We sometimes refer to these background sound effects as ambient sounds, sounds that are just part of the environment or location you're in. Ambient sound is an important part of the soundtrack for your film. While we can't always completely remove ambient sounds, we can control them. Sometimes we control it by choosing a specific microphone and adjusting our perspective like I mentioned earlier. Another way we control sound is in how we edit it. So let's talk about editing these different types of sounds. The loudness of sound is measured in decibels or dBs. Pretty much every audio software and recording device will allow you to see the decibel level of the sound being edited or recorded. You can see these levels using an audio meter and usually at the very top of the audio meter is a zero. It may sound strange, no pun intended, but zero decibels isn't no sound, it's what's considered normal. Now, when a signal exceeds the normal level, then it does what is referred to as clipping. Audio that clips typically will sound distorted, including static and hisses and pops and just gonna have other nasty sounds. You can also tell a particular sound is clipping when the audio levels turn red. If you notice this is happening, simply turn the levels down. There are some specific decibel levels you want each of the three types of sounds at. Dialogue should be somewhere between minus six and minus 12 dBs. Sound effects should be between minus 12 and minus 18 dBs. Music should be anywhere below minus 18 depending on your usage. So there you have it. Using the different types of sound will really have an impact on how your audience views your film. Making sure to pay attention to things like perspective and those ambient sounds, as well as how to edit each sound to a proper level, will be crucial in telling an engaging story. So, now it's your turn to actually go out and record some audio.